Hello! In this video, we will learn about the features of the S100 basic operation and simple test operation. Since the keypad is used for basic setting and use of the inverter, you must learn how to operate the keypad and set the display window to use the inverter. Therefore, we will first know the characteristics of the S100 inverter. Learn the basic operation method of the keypad. Learn how to edit parameters. And finally introduce the basic motor nameplate input method. According to the capacity of the S100 inverter, the keypad is divided into two types. Input voltage 400 volts class inverter capacity, 30 to 75 kilowatt products use digital loader, and 0.4 to 22 kilowatt products use seven segment keypad. First, let's talk about digital loader. The digital loader is connected to an S100 inverter and has four modes. If you click the mode key in monitor mode, the parameter mode appears. If you click mode key again, the configuration mode appears. And if you click the mode key again, you can see that it returns to the monitor mode. However, the trip mode can be moved if there is a previous trip history. There are 12 groups in the parameter mode where parameters can be set. When moving between groups, you can move by pressing the button in the right direction. The group type includes Drive Group, Basic Group, Advanced Group, Control Group, Input Group, Output Group, Communication Group, Application Group, Protection Group. And if you press the right arrow key again, it returns to the Drive Group. Here, User sequence and user sequence function can be set to be used in application group 02 or not. And the second motor operation can be used when selecting one of the codes from input group 65 to 71 and setting it as the second motor, which is number 26. Next, I will explain the keypad. There are 11 groups on the keypad built into the S100 inverter. You can move between groups by using the left and right buttons. To move the code setting within the group, you can enter the setting value by using the up and down enter keys. Now let's see how to edit parameters using the keypad. The target frequency can be set on the keypad main screen by pressing Enter and the up, down, left, right arrow keys. First, let's set the target frequency to 60 Hz. Next, we will change the acceleration time and deceleration time. The basic acceleration time setting means the time until the frequency of the voltage applied to the motor starts from 0 Hz and reaches the maximum frequency. Similarly, the deceleration time setting means the time from the maximum frequency to reach 0 Hz. The acceleration time setting can be set in the driving group ACC by pressing the upper button on the initial screen. The acceleration time is set to 10 seconds. Deceleration time setting can be set in operation group DEC by pressing the upper button on the current screen. Deceleration time is also set to 10 seconds. Next, we will set up the operation command method to select the input device to be used for the operation command. The operation command method can be designated in operation group DRV. When shipped from the factory, the initial value of the operation command is the operation signal through the multifunction input terminal. In this example, we'll run a test that works with a switch. 
Next, let's edit the frequency setting method. The frequency setting method can be changed in the operation group FRQ. The meaning of the numbers shown on the keypad screen is the same as the table shown on the screen. The initial value of zero allows you to set the frequency on the keypad. The following explains how to input the information on the motor nameplate into the inverter. If you look at the motor nameplate, there are information such as motor capacity, rated voltage, rated current, and motor efficiency. When looking at voltage and current, if the input voltage is 220 volts, the rated current is 1.8 amps. And if the input voltage is 380 volts, the rated current is 1.1 amps. We will input parameters based on the motor nameplate information. For capacity of the motor, select DR group number 14 and input the appropriate capacity. 11 to 16 of group BA are the number of poles of the motor, rated slip speed, rated current of the motor, no load current of the motor, rated voltage of the motor, and motor efficiency, respectively. Enter the motor nameplate values in turn. If it is difficult to measure the no load current, input a current value corresponding to a 30 to 50% of the rated current of the motor. As a precaution, the motor capacity must be entered first, and if set later, the BA group parameter is initialized, so please be careful. To set the operation command in the terminal block, set the P1 terminal function setting, which is number 65 of in group to 1, which is the forward operation FX. Since P1 is set as a forward contact, wire the switch to P1 and CM. If you switch on, you can see that the target frequency goes up to 60 Hz for 10 seconds of acceleration time. When the switch is turned off, it can be confirmed that deceleration stops for 10 seconds, which is the deceleration time. Thank you.